And what they have is an entirely new multi-windowing model that's inspired by the Mac that can use modern Apple Silicon processors and the increase in, in RAM in, gen, in the general environment now that wasn't there before and build something that uh, works great. And, and having used it for a week, like it works really, really well. They did a great job with it. So it really is one of those interesting cases where they cared enough about a multi-window on the iPad to not just keep patching what they had built which was a compromised system but to admit like yeah we just got to throw this away and start again and so they had a team that just has been chunking away for a while in the background and uh this is what they've done which is basically bring mac windowing to the ipad and uh like and not not only can you put the windows everywhere and you can put them off the side if you want and all the things you just expect on the Mac, uh, but it's got expose. It's got all the tiling features they added to the Mac last year. So, and they're all bound to shortcuts or to keyboard shortcuts. So you can, you know, what is it? Globe shift left arrow and, and the window that you're in goes automatically tiles to the left half of your screen, or you can tap and hold or click and hold on the green button and you get a whole menu of different tiling options. Uh, you can do globe F to toggle in and out of full screen. Like it's the whole thing. Like they yeah. just did it and yeah. dropped this, it on the iPad and said, this there is it is. What Feder it. Federighi told uh, Andrew Cunningham at ours. We've discovered many, many optimizations.